Hello. Hey, how are you? Can you see me okay? There we go. Turn my TV off and we're set to go. We've always wondered, you know, where exactly are we from? What are our, you know, ancestry background? And I thought, um, let's let's try to help a portion too because you never know what you might learn about yourself and that's when all this all this happened. And then when I did a little research in 23 me and found out that they had the health portion, I thought, well, I wonder if that can help at all. If we can find anything else out, you know, that we could maybe prepare for. And it was like, you know what? It's our health. It's worth it. Like let's let's do it and see. I mean, we're doing this. So I got the results back. And I ran inside and I said Mom, oh my gosh, my results came in. Hey, I, I tell you, when we got the results, I was like, what is that? So when the results came back, it showed that I was high risk for breast and ovarian cancer, which I I don't think I ever expected to find out anything like so serious from 23andMe. And then I thought, well, what are my doctors going to think? I'm going to throw this 23andMe test result at them and... Um, are they going to take this seriously? And they took it super seriously. I pretty much called my doctor right away and was like, I need a genetic counselor. She was like, okay, you found this. Like, we need to confirm it. I brought it right to my doctor. I went to see her and I showed it to her. And, and I was surprised because she was like, oh, let me see that. And she she said, you know what? I'm sending you for a, a artery scan. I should start taking uh, lutein. Uh, multivitamin. So I'm taking that every day. Let's uh, get on top of this and delay the progression uh, of this disease. If we had not addressed it when we did, I did have pretty high levels of iron in my liver and obviously I would have ended up like my uncle who was probably undiagnosed dying of liver failure. Just look me around. He said, let's get you on a gluten-free diet. So, you know, he put me on a statin and, um, you know, talk to me about eating more healthy because I do like my steak and my cheeseburger. <laughs> I get my ovarian ultrasound two times a year and then the breast uh, MRI two times a year until I'm old enough to get a mammogram. And then once I turn 35, um, I get my ovaries removed. And that's what I'm gonna have done is have my colon and, and rectum removed. I mean, pretty much it saved his life. In reality, the test saved his life. I told all my friends and they're blown away by it. it was, I mean, my ancestry results were super fascinating anyway, but this alone, the health portion, was just uh, incredible. Anything I can do to just help this, spread this message of just awareness and anyone I can help, I just want to help. So have a good day. Take care. Keep up the good work. Thanks. <laughs> bye bye. All right. Bye bye.